thank the most high for taking the things of the world off of my shoulders. Thank you, Father. Love. Oh, oh, oh. I rise up and sing. Shalom, shalom, family, shalom. It is Disciple of Yah, and I'm back with another prophetic word for the Most High Yah to give to his people on this day. I'm so glad to be back to bless you guys with this word um, that Yah spoke to me, and he has finally allowed me to release this word to his people. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say a prayer, and we will dive into this word for the Most High Yah. Uh, but y'all come before you this day first just thank you for your grace and mercy and for choosing me as your vessel i pray right now y'all that you find anything that is in me that is unclean that you purify and continue to cleanse and make me whole unto you y'all i just pray and honor you and give you all the glory and the praise and i thank you right now y'all for those who will view this video y'all that they be able to take in this word and that they be, a, be able to meditate on this work that you have given me and give them the revelation that you gave unto me, y'all, uh, that they can see you in a new light and get the understanding of what is taking place within these times. So I'm just grateful in your son, Yahushua Mashiach name. Hallelujah. So, like I said, once again, I have another word from Most High, y'all, uh, and I finally been able to release this word. Um, and when I first got this word, uh, I was... You know, it was, you know, kind of deep uh, uh, to me because y'all was, he was speaking, he was speaking. So let me just go ahead and go into what y'all was giving unto me and I give it unto you guys. And um, you can take this back to y'all for confirmation. So he said, tell my people, my son, the three days of darkness is equal to the three days my son died and resurrected. Just as my son, who was the light of the world, was gone for three days so is the light removed for three days. So I know some people will say, well, you know, three days of darkness, that happened before, you who should this, this, and that. Yes, it, it did. But as I go more into this, y'all will speak and, you know, break down and explain more. So for those who may have heard what I just said, be like, oh, I'm clicking off the video. No, if you continue to stay engaged, you will hear what y'all said and you'll get understanding when he explains um, regarding those three days and how it correlates with Yahushua because he is the light of the world. So let me continue. He said, death and darkness rule for three days. My son Yahushua allowed death and darkness to rule for three days to consume his mortal body for he could resurrect Yahshua, so shall it happen again. So like I said, the first three days of darkness we seen was when um, Yahshua was in captivity in Egypt and he came through and had three days of darkness and came through and what was death? Death and darkness came through the land. No light was present, but only those of Yahshua who had light. So if we're looking at the you know, context of the scripture, only those that was of Yahushua had light because if you begin to study the scriptures the more you will see um, Yahushua was spoken and prophesied all throughout the Old Testament. So then we get, um, you know, into what we're going to do in our timing of another three days of darkness. But let me continue because I don't want to go and skip over things that I haven't mentioned yet in this word, but I just want to clarify that. So it says, the first time was by my, meaning Yahuwah hand. And that will be the first exodus that took place um, with Yahshua when they was in Egypt. And y'all were saying that that was done by his hand, that deliverance. Um, was taking place to him. He said the second time was by my son Yahushua hand through his death. So we see that second time um, when you begin, begin to read the scripture, it talks about when Yahushua gave up the ghost and it became dark and everything. And he what, was gone for three days. So darkness came again and death accompanied. You know, not only did he um, die, but he allowed it to what? Uh, feel as though it had the power and it you know, had the domain and the rulership. But like I said, he allowed it because it had to what? Take over this mortal body so what? He can go back into what? The eternal body. And when he did that, not only did he, you know, come back and resurrect himself, but he resurrected Yahshua because Yahshua was a fallen nation unto Yah. He divorced them. You can read about that in the book of Jeremiah or Yeremiahu. So, 
he divorced them and Israel at that point didn't have a redeemer. They didn't have redemption. So just like y'all came the first time in the first Exodus and he was the redeemer and he used Moshe and Aaron or Moses and Aaron. But now the second time to redeem his people, he sent his son who came in to re redeem us that we may have the chance for eternal life. So let me continue going. So then he said, the third time will be, be will be by the Ruach HaKadosh. So now he's telling us this third time is going to be by the power of the Ruach HaKadosh. Remember, Yahushua said he had to leave. Why? So the comforter, the Ruach HaKadosh, can lead and guide us and teach us into all things. So when he said all things, he meant all things. But let me continue reading. It said, this is why my people will glow and illuminate as I place my Ruach and you return you back to ancient times. So this is why it's going to be by the hands of the rock, Hakadesh, because the first time Yah himself came through, the second time he sent his son, and now this third time he is sending his what rock, Hakadesh, or his spirit, and his spirit is going to come into us, and this is why we're going to start seeing the manifestation of things in us, and we're going to be glowing and illuminating. So let me continue reading. So it said. I place my rock in you returning to back to ancient times. He said, you shall walk and take territory. Man faces with fear when they look upon my children, just as Lamech feared when he looked and seen Noah. So if you go into the Apocrypha, um, Book of Joshua, Book of Julius is one of the two. Um, if anybody uh, remember verbatim, Drop it in the comment section for me. If not, I'll go back and I'll pin it myself. Matter of fact, I'll do that. Go back and pin it myself. Um, where when Noah was born, uh, Lamech, he seen Noah, and Noah was illuminated with this light. And he was looking, he was just fearful because of Noah was glowing, he was illuminated. The same way that Lamech looked, y'all saying this is what the people of this world is going to look when they see us. When they see us, when we're glowing, they're going to be terrified because it's going to be unlike anything they ever seen. Remember, we are Negro, we are black, brown, we are darker shade, we are melanin. So when we illuminate with this light, it's going to take them by surprise. But we're, we're illuminating with this light because he's placing his rock in us, his spirit in us. And when he placed his spirit in us, then guess what? Because just as his son is the light of the world, y'all is a consuming fire. The word tells us that. So when he places that in us, we're going to illuminate and appear in light as though fire is burning within us. Remember, Yehu, Jeremiah said it was just like fire shut up in my bones. So we have to remember what the word said, what people encountered before us, and we're going to be walking and getting the same thing. And then, like he said, he said um, right here, he said, you shall walk and take territory. What does he mean by that? As we begin to walk and leave, we will take territory over the areas and lands that we walk, walk in as we are leaving here. And, and I'm going to a context for you, and I know some people are like, oh, well, where's that word, this, this, net? When we are leaving, because judgment has been spoken and said upon this nation for what it has done to us. So when we are leaving, they're, they look, they're going to be fearful. They're going to be scared. And when we leave, we are taking back the dominion that they had over us. The scriptures talk about how they would try to cleave unto us. So when we, we walk and we're taking back that dominion, we're also taking back the territory. But this is not our home. So when we leave, the things that was done to us because the law of the land is you reap what you sow. Because what Babylon has now reaped, I mean what they have now sown, I'm sorry, they will reap those same things. But we will no longer be here. But guess what? Because we have now reclaimed the dominion. We have reclaimed the territory. And not only just that, but as we also arrive back into the motherland when y'all bring us back, they're going to be waiting on us. We will walk and take what territory? They're going to be waiting. They're going to be bowed before us. They're going to try to do everything for our every need and have the things and supplies for us. 
walk and take territory. He's telling us when this happens, know who you are. Walk in that power I have given you. Speak with that power and authority I have given you. So as we walk out, we will walk out singing praises and worship unto Yah. As we walk out, we will be praying. Just like they were praying and the Ruach HaKadosh ascended when they were all praying after Yahushua left up in the temple. And it's going to be the same thing. Spiritually, we're going to take territory. We're going to leave. And this nation will face their judgment. And we'll proceed on into the motherland where we will take territory there. And that's when Yah will then lead us over into the wilderness and it will continue from there. But let me continue because there is more word that is spoken in this. He said, gifts and powers to be activated in my children when this takes place. I told you, power will come back. Why? Because when the destruction of this land hits, it's 144,000 will be fully activated. They will be fully operating. They will be walking in domain. Like I said in previous videos, they will be doing things of extraordinary. The easiest way I compare it, if you watch Avengers, you watch Marvel, all those type of things, this is 144,000. This is what they're going to be doing. And just because not taking over territory to stay there does not mean taking over territory to do y'all's will to place judgment upon the land. So let me continue with that. He said, tell them, do not fear when they see such things. This is why I am instructing you, my son, to tell them of these things, for they know it is I, Yahuwah, Sabaoth, restoring and redeeming my children. Y'all wanted me to let you guys know this. So when you begin to see yourself blowing and you, you look and you saying, wait a minute, I, I, I'm, I'm lit up. And you see this light just illuminating off you. And you're looking at yourself and you're just covered in light. You're just glowing. And you start to feel his presence all over you because, he, like I said, he's going to put his spirit in us. Yes, we had a real confidence in us, but when he's talking about his spirit, he's talking about the gifts and powers. We're going to be feeling it flowing through us. But he's saying to let you guys know that it will be him. Because House of Time will come with many tricks. He's going to try to say many different things. But he let you know that this is him. When you see this, this is him. And what he said, because what? He is restoring and redeeming his children. So then he said, the day shortly approaches. Ask them, are they worthy? Have they purified their temple? Are they part of my remnant? I have spoken. Yahuwah Sabaoth. So I'm going to read that again. He said, ask them, are they worthy? Have they purified their temple? Are they part of my remedy? And those are questions that we have to ask ourselves right now in this moment. Because right now, y'all is pouring out so much because he doesn't want to leave none of his children here. He don't want to leave none of Yashorah here. And he's been speaking to me, I, I mean, things just to me personally, audibly, but with Within these many different videos, he's been speaking so much many other things. And we have to start asking, Abba Yah, am I worthy? And to be ready to hear the answer that he's going to say, because if it's yes, then that means we have to continue doing what we was doing, plus more and push harder. If it's no, then he will let us know, and we have to work on that and prove it so we can make that second exodus. Have you purified your temple? Have you seek him for cleansing? Have you seek him for direction? Have you been fasting? Have you been in his word? Have you been praying, applying the scriptures so that you may become holy or Kodesh? And then the last question he said, are you part of his remedy? Are you a part of his remedy? Or are you just a Yasharaelite who's thinking you're going to get in because of blood and hit? No. It's not going to happen that way. It happened like that the first time. And y'all purged out the rebels. But for those, y'all Israelites who openly defy against the Most High. Those y'all Israelites who have went and sold out unto the governments, unto the Hollywoods, unto the, the, the nations of this world. Those who have turned their back on their people and have been teaching and lying to them, leading them straight. Those y'all Israelites 
I can tell you right now, aren't part of y'all's remedy. Whether you are is right from either one of the 12 tribes, Yah is not going to redeem. He's not going to restore you. Because you have already placed and sold your heart over to the enemy. So we have to self-examine ourselves. We have to analyze. We have to look. We have to see what exactly is taking place and going on. And what Yah is trying to do. And what Yah is preparing us for. So like I said at the beginning of this video, take this word to Yah and confirmation. It's the cycle of Yah. I'm out. Oh, oh, oh.